China has huge numbers of migrant workers and every year these people flock to the cities in the hope of getting work to pull their families out of poverty. Huge multi-million inhabited cities are springing up and being developed at an extraordinary rate and the play looks at the cost of such extreme development. You know what you need to do? What? Keep your aspirations low and your expectations lower. That way you'll never be disappointed. Focus on life's little delights. The World of Extreme Happiness is about Sunny Lee, who is a, a rural Chinese girl who is forced to move from her rural upbringing into the city to get a job working in a factory, and she becomes a migrant worker. I think it's really exciting that the Nationals are doing the World of Extreme Happiness now. Um, British theatre has, it feels, finally uh, taken an interest in the Far East and in China uh, with plays on this year, including Yellow Face, uh, Chimerica, and now the World of Extreme Happiness. And what the World of Extreme Happiness does is focus on the lives and the plights of people from exclusively inside China. It throws us in, uh, kicking and screaming, and asks us to jump into this world and understand the rate at which things are changing um, and the cost of that. It's questioning what is it to be happy in China at this time. There's a massive trend in China for self-help right now. For a country that previously was so governed by collectivism, there's now a, fe uh, a focus on the individual and the, the, the empowered individual and what they can do. And there's a complete cross range of society from the most, uh, most rural, poorest members of the uh, society up to the factory owners. And so we get to see all of that um, in this play. It's um, a very bold play, it's very punky, it packs a lot of punches. And so it's been about trying to find a performance style and a conceptual style for the production that allows us to tap into how vibrant and how out there the script is. The set design from Chloe Lamford is a world that allows us to jump from many different locations. We've created a space that talks to amusement parks and building sites, which feels thematically appropriate in a play about aspiration and happiness and about the rate in which China is progressing. But it's playful, it's punky, it's too much, it's neon soaked. Um, there's a collision of very rich worlds and very poor, poor worlds. And so we've tried to make a space where all these things can be blended together. I hope this show will introduce audiences to a world they don't know. I hope it will really show us inside the lives, the hopes, the dreams of rural migrants from China and really shine a light on the cost of the development rate of China. It's taking on some weighty political issues, but it does that in a very surprising way.